All right guys, what's going on? Anthony here with AHD Toys and today we have the Power Rangers Lightning Collection 2-pack in Space Red Ranger and Astronema, the brother-sister duo 2-pack. Now this figure is uh, part of two 2-pack two waves. Uh, it's this one and then the SPD uh, versus SPD A squad, B squad. So yes, uh, these retail at about $39.99. I got mine from BBTS. I will leave links down below on where you can get yours. But this is basically your standard two-pack box. Legally's at the bottom. Barcode for anyone who needs it. Red and blue up top. So without further ado, what do you say we go ahead and crack this bad boy open and see what's inside? All right guys, so here we have the figures out of packaging uh and i have noticed that my uh in space red is kind of like having some paint defects going on but we will get into that right after we take a look at the accessories so for astronomer here she obviously comes with her two hands uh out of the packaging which are basically two gun gripping hands then we have two closed fisted hands there you go then you have her i guess I don't, I don't even a spear her staff uh, not too familiar with this weapon but she does come with that and then she does come with her little uh, boomerang thing here which you can peg into her holster right here not the the most I guess sophisticated way of doing it but there you go okay and for Andros here he comes with obviously his two gun gripping hands out of the box comes with one pointing finger this is a new one haven't seen this yet and then he comes with a closed fist there we go he also comes with his astro blaster which does just go right into its holster right like so there you go and then he comes with his signature a spiral saber Very basic paint details, black, silver drill with a little red mark right there at the top. Okay, and then he comes with his civilian head scope, head sculpt, I'm sorry, uh, which honestly, in my opinion, is probably one of their better ones. Uh, they really nailed the likeness right here, in my opinion, uh, right down to the highlights and the hair. Let's see, get a closer look. Come on. There we go. I was trying to get a close up uh, on the little earring details, uh, but it doesn't look like my camera's gonna focus in on something this close to the lens. Uh, but he does have his uh, earrings right there. Very good head sculpt. So we say we go ahead and pop that on real quick so you guys can see how he looks. There you go, brother and sister. Okay, so what do you say we go ahead and take a look at the details on these figures? Okay, we'll go ahead and start with Red because he is basically your basic uh, male Power Rangers Lightning Collection figure. So we should be able to go through this real quick. Uh, if you notice off first, this one is a, a yellow paint on around his collar instead of gold like they did with the uh, SP, or not the SPD, the uh, In Space Yellow for obvious reasons. I mean, obviously if they paint yellow and yellow, it's gonna be very hard to see. Uh, so I'm kind of okay with that. I wish they just would have went with maybe a gold all the way around on all the figures. I know this is more screen accurate. Uh, I don't know, just a little nitpick. Uh, the helmet is nice. They got the little uh, gold mark up there at the top. Right there. Uh, paint apps on my helmet are actually pretty good. A uh, little bit of an overlap right there at the bottom corner. Right about there, as you can see. Uh, a major, major mishap right here at the uh, blue square. It almost looks like somebody took a knife and just kind of like carved out right here. Uh, so that is really unfortunate. I have been really lucky thus far of not getting a figure with major paint defects up until now. 
uh, this is my first one and it's actually kind of a uh, disheartening that it's right there uh, I mean it could have been anywhere else but it's right there front and center uh, there is a paint mishap right here on his uh, glove once again it looks like somebody just kind of like scratched it right there um, let's see what else there is some weird markings right here on the back of the boot uh, but other than those three might or not minor but not major but other than those three mishaps my uh, in space red is pretty good okay so next up we'll look at astronomer um, yeah I'm not sure what's going on right here with this head sculpt it is definitely not one of their better ones I mean it's just it almost I don't know it just looks like a doll almost of what they were going for I'm not sure if that's what they were aiming for uh, but that's what it comes off to me it doesn't look like her in my opinion uh, but yeah overall this is basically the same female figure mold we've gotten a few times this is basically the Rita figure looks like underneath just all black this one does however has some paint details uh, that kind of go a little bit under her chest armor not too far up uh, but there is like a mesh pattern paint going on it's not textured it's all paint uh, her gauntlets right here are actually really nice looking very detailed you can kind of see I guess like the inner workings the circuits in her gauntlet oh my god I need to get a different lens but there is some detail into that uh, let's see her hair is very nice I wouldn't be surprised if we got a single release of this figure with like one of her many many different head sculpts that has that will sport her different hairstyles throughout the show let's see hair goes all the way down towards the back plate shoulder pads look nice the holster for her boomerang other than that the figure is just basically all black so what do you say we go ahead and jump into some articulation okay we'll start with Andros here so uh, for the head it can rotate full 360 no side to side okay. oh there we go can look up about that far down about that far shoulders can go up that high full 360 upper bicep swivel double jointed elbows wrist rotation it is in pretty far out just as far upper torso swivel lower ab crunch can go down that far back that far no lower waist swivel ball jointed hips will go out that far will kick forward that far kick back that far upper thigh swivel double jointed knees boot cuff swivel typical as Hasbro ankle rockers with peg holes at the bottom so your typical male buck uh, articulation next up we'll go ahead and look at astronomer so her head is very very hindered with her hair just barely even turns anything uh, we'll turn that far to the right turn that far to the left no side to side barely looks up barely looks down shoulders can go out about that far does rotate full 360 just got to move the shoulder pads out of the way no upper bicep single jointed elbows but does rotate at the elbows wrist rotation hinges in pretty good amount even with her cuff back is hindered a bit if you get it on right there but if you get it off it'll go all the way back just like that upper torso swivel ab crunch actually doesn't go down that far goes back really far though no waist swivel ball jointed hips will do the splits that far kick forward that far kick back that far upper thigh swivel double jointed knees no boot cuff and Hasbro 
ankle rockers, peg holes at the bottom. So yes, your typical Hasbro female buck. I'm really hoping that we get double jointed elbows in these female figures very soon. I know that they just uh, released some pictures of a G.I. Joe figure that had the uh, double jointed elbows and the new pinless system that they've already incorporated into their Marvel Legends. So seeing those move over to the Power Rangers, hopefully sometime soon in the near future, would be amazing. So yes, what do you say we go ahead and get into some size comparisons? Okay, so here we have SPD Red and Astronomer next to Psycho Red and In Space Yellow. So they obviously pair up very nicely and stand about the same height. Yellow is just slightly, uh, I guess, taller than Astronomer if you don't count the top of her hair. Uh, if you do count the top of her hair, they are the same height. Uh, Psycho Red and uh, In Space Red are obviously the same height. Okay then, just because here he is next to the Alpha 5 and Zordon Walmart exclusive 2-pack. So you can do a diorama of that iconic scene uh, where Andros does uh, sacrifice Zordon's life to destroy all evil within the universe. Okay, here it is because I know you all want to see it. We are halfway there. Five out of the ten Rangers from the 10th anniversary episode Forever Red. We have Lost Galaxy Red, Mighty Morphin Red, in Space Red, Zeo Red, Time Force Red. So the only ones we need now are Quantum, Turbo, Wild Force, Alien, and Lightspeed Rescue. So Hasbro, please, please hurry up so I can finally make this display. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end that here. Until next time, guys. Later.